up. Your what? Okay, well stop tucking your hand into the side. Okay? Hey. Stop reaching around, dude. Hey. Hey. What? Hey. Stop. Hey. Hey, you good? Hello, I'm Matt Sorensen, Training Division Commander for the Santa Ana Police Department. What you're about to view is a critical incident community video briefing. Whenever we have a critical incident, we want to share as much information as possible as soon as the investigation allows. The intent of these briefings is to provide the public with open and transparent communication regarding officer-involved critical incidents. These briefings are based on the facts as we know them at the time of the video briefing. They contain information obtained from numerous sources, including, but not limited to, dispatch audio, video evidence, and witness or victim statements. The Santa Ana Police Department takes the use of force by its officers very seriously and conducts thorough investigations into these incidents, oftentimes in conjunction with other investigative agencies. These investigations typically require interviews with numerous witnesses, the review of video and audio evidence, and the analysis of extensive amounts of forensic evidence. As a result, these investigations can take up to a year to complete. At this point in the investigation, no conclusions have been drawn with regard to whether our officers acted in a manner consistent with our policies and or the law. Please be advised, Critical incidents are often high stress and emotional for those involved. As a result of this stress and emotion, audio and video recordings may contain strong language and digital images may be graphic. Warning, some viewers may find these videos disturbing and they are not suitable for children. Hello, I'm Sergeant Maria Lopez, the Public Information Officer for the Santa Ana Police Department. I'm going to give you a brief overview of an incident that happened on Wednesday, November 16, 2022. At 2.05 p.m., Santa Ana Police officers assigned to the Special Enforcement Team conducted a traffic stop on a vehicle in the area of 100 South McClay Street. Upon approaching the vehicle, the officers saw there were three occupants, a driver, front seat passenger, and a right rear passenger. Upon speaking with the driver, he stated that he was on probation. The primary officer asked the driver to exit the vehicle and conducted a search for weapons, ultimately detaining him for further investigation. The cover officer asked the right rear passenger to exit the vehicle. As the cover officer was conducting a search of the subject for weapons, the primary officer was watching the right front passenger who began moving around in the vehicle and concealing his right hand from officer's view. Despite the primary officer's commands for the right front passenger to keep his hands where the officer could see them, he moved his right hand down between the seat and the door. The primary officer ordered the right front passenger to stop reaching around, at which point the subject raised a black semi-automatic pistol and an officer-involved shooting occurred. Officers from the Santa Ana Police Department are issued body-worn cameras to be worn at chest level to provide a general perspective of the officer. When the body-worn camera is activated, it goes back 30 seconds and starts recording. During this pre-recorded buffer, audio is not captured. This feature is designed to capture police activity that occurs suddenly. It is important to understand that the body-worn camera can at times be obscured by an officer's actions. During this incident, both officers were wearing body-worn cameras, which were actively recording. First, you will see body-worn camera footage from the primary officer from the moments preceding the officer-involved shooting.
Hey brother, can you do me a favor and stop reaching around? Just put your hands on the front dash. Thank you. Hey boss, can you stop reaching around? Just put your hands on the dash. Put your hands on the dash, dude. On the dash. You're what? Okay, well, stop tucking your hand into the side. Okay? Hey, stop reaching around, dude. Hey, hey, what? Hey, stop. Hey, you good? Hey, yeah. Hey, hold on. Don't you move, dude. Don't you move. 31, 8, 33 Alpha, 998, McClay, Alpha south of Bay. 1st. Now, you will see body-worn camera footage from the cover-off. Enter the lab, cross your legs for me, thank you. Hey, hey what okay. the hey. 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 hey! Stop! Hey, hey, you good? Hey, yeah. take your time. Hey, hold on. Immediately following the officer-involved shooting, the officers reported their activity to Santa Ana Police Dispatch and requested additional officers respond to the scene to assist. Once additional officers and a canine arrived, assisting officers gave the subject commands to exit the vehicle, but he did not comply. Because the subject failed to comply and was still armed with a handgun, a police canine was deployed. Following the canine deployment, Officers approached the vehicle and recovered a handgun from the subject's lap. With the weapon secured, the officers removed the subject from the vehicle and immediately began providing medical aid as they waited for paramedics from the Orange County Fire Authority to respond. Yep, moving, moving. moving. Once paramedics were on scene, they provided additional medical aid and transported the subject to a local trauma center for further medical care. Unfortunately, the subject was pronounced deceased by hospital staff at approximately 3 p.m. The arrestee was identified as Alejandro Montes. Montes was a 41-year-old resident of La Habra. At the time of this incident, Montes had a warrant for his arrest for felon in possession of a firearm and narcotics violation. Additionally, Montes had previously been arrested for robbery involving a firearm, assault with a deadly weapon, elderly abuse, and burglary. The weapon recovered from Montez was a 9mm ghost gun that contained a loaded, extended magazine. Officers also recovered an additional extended magazine from Montez's pocket. It is our desire to be transparent during these investigations by sharing information with the public about critical incidents. For the next several months, three concurrent and independent investigations will be conducted. The Orange County District Attorney's Office will continue to investigate any possible criminal conduct by the officers involved. The Santa Ana Police Department Internal Affairs Division will conduct an administrative investigation into whether the officers followed department policies and procedures. 
The Santa Ana Police Department Crimes Against Persons Division will investigate alleged criminal conduct by the subject involved. These investigative units will continue interviewing any new witnesses that may come forward and complete forensic tests and an autopsy. Upon the conclusion of these investigations, the Orange County District Attorney's Office will determine what, if any, charges should be filed against the officer and or the subject involved. Thank you for taking the time to view this critical incident community briefing.